What are you obsessed with right now? Uh, network. Honestly, I'm in the Broadway show and, and uh, I gotta do it eight times a week. So I am that I'm obsessed with it right now. What's one of your pet peeves? We talked about this. Lying is one of my pet peeves. I can't stand it when people are full of shit. We talked about this in the full podcast, which you can listen to right now, and you should because because it's really cool. We had a great conversation. You should go listen to the podcast on any podcast app. Um, okay, on what, any podcast app. Okay. What, what crack? Listen to Kara. You can't see her, but listen to her. What she says is very true. <laughs> That's right. um, what cracks you up? That was my next question. Perfect. Um, oh, so many things crack me up. What cracks me up? My wife cracks me up. Um, yeah. Uh, what does she do? My own fallibility cracks me up. I, I do laugh at myself a lot. Um, I don't know. It's f I, My wife just makes me laugh. She's not even being funny. I think just the way she is makes me laugh. If you could choose two celebrities to be your parents, who would you choose? Uh, Barack and Michelle Obama. Are you a good driver or a bad driver? I think I'm a good driver, but I'm probably not as good as I think I am. Fast or slow? Uh, Fast-ish. Fast showers or long showers? Long showers. If you invited me over for dinner, what would you prepare? Mm, um, I'd probably uh, grill you some fish and, um, yeah, like uh, fish and some maybe some grilled uh, salmon with rosemary on it, and we'll have uh, some roasted potatoes potatoes uh and um then i'll make uh some uh like yeah maybe some sauteed spinach with garlic would that be good oh healthy and okay. delicious yeah, healthy i like it delicious. what's your guilty pleasure binge watching television which shows um uh uh well i'm right now i'm into narcos mexico but i that's brand new uh, yeah um one gig that got away Oh, golly. Oh, yeah. You know, years and years ago when I was first starting out, I was offered a wonderful play <clears throat> by the great playwright Rupert Holmes, who created The Mystery of Edwin Drood. And um, I got offered the lead in this play, and I had not done anything really professional. I'd done a couple things professionally, but I was just getting started. And um, my it was in Los Angeles at the Pasadena Place, and my agents talked me out of doing it. They said, you know, you really should hold out for some big television job. And I was like, really? And it was a great part, and um, so I turned it down. It ended up being this big hit, and it went to Broadway, and there was no television job. I was unemployed for the entire time. But you did eventually get a television job. Eventually, <laughs> I did. And a few Broadway and then plays. Things ended up okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if you weren't an actor? What would you be? Uh, unemployed. <laughs> okay, that's a great answer. <laughs> I have not heard that one yet. All right, give me your first thought. I'm going to say one like television show or movie that you've been in. Just first thing that comes to mind. Of a television show or movie I've been in? Yeah, I'm going to give you the name. So you're just going to have to like, oh, respond. Oh, oh, I don't have to tell you. Or been in was. or directed. No, no, no. Okay. You don't have to, <laughs> I know ahead. I yeah. already have the names. <laughs> Dexter. Uh, um, a blood. <laughs> Justified. Uh, uh, Tim Oliphant. Ghost. Um. Oh my God! Fantasy come true. Divergent. Uh, Shailene. Without a trace. Oh God, that one didn't work out so well. Why? It was just that was a, that's a uh, I, maybe because I don't like my performance in it. The movie didn't turn out so well, but but it, uh, I just it was one of those ones where. Uh, I was still learning how to act in front of the camera. I don't know what it was. Anyway, Wait we're going to get into, you're not my, sh I feel like I should be with my shrink now. What is this? <laughs> 25 years ago, I still haven't gotten over this film I did. Okay, anyway, I'm glad I found the, you you found, I touched a nerf. A He's moving yes. right on, the Pelican Brief. <laughs> oh, Alan Pakula. I feel so lucky to have worked with him. Frasier? Frasier was so fun. You know, that was the first Frasier after 9-11, and I remembered it was the first one because the, um, one of the executive, great executive producers of that show died in, in uh, United 91, and they were grieving, and I, and I showed up for the first episode I shot after that. Oh, that's what I will remember. Not exactly a sitcom. No. But they, yeah, it was very intense. Private practice. Private practice as well. My second uh, experience with Shonda. I mean, I started directing Grey's Anatomy, and then I directed one of the first private practices too. Shonda, my love. Grey's Anatomy. Well, kind of the same. Grey's uh, was one of the first television shows I'd done, and it's where I met Shonda and was like, whoa, this lady knows what she's doing. Um, 
so I'm very, and you just knew it was a great show. Before, well before it aired, um, I just was like, this works. Dirty Sexy Money? Uh, Donald Sutherland, I got to work with Donald Sutherland. That was another great show. Um, and also, I should add Bellamy Young, was why I met Bellamy, who played Billy Baldwin's wife on that. If you haven't seen Dirty Sexy Money, check it out. It was such a good show. It was and a fun show. A, it was kind of like a guilty pleasure incredible show. Incredible cast. Right? Oh my God, yeah, the um, cast on that was fantastic. Yes. Okay, okay we're gonna last question, mm -hmm. I mean last person, mm -hmm. President Fitzgerald Grant, react. Misunderstood leader of our country, <laughs> but had his fun too on this, you know, anyway. Fitz, uh, no, I'm very lucky to have played, Fitz was a great character. I Thanks. miss him. Thanks, Tony. Okay, let's come over here okay. quick. I'm gonna get in. All right. Hi, it's Kara and- Tony. And we have a nice long podcast for you to listen to. Check it out. Tune in to any podcast app, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify. You'll hear Spotify. all about my uh, middle school years. It's very can't, good. You can't wait. It's you so got to tune in. It's that good. Was my best, that was one of my best moments. Okay. Anyway, okay, good. It's That's all been it. downhill from there. <laughs> I don't think it has been. <laughs> This is Really Famous. I'm Kara Mayer Robinson, and I interview famous people. But I don't just interview them like your typical interview. I'm not really interested in those same old questions. Instead, I like to know who they really are and what they really think. Sometimes it's like listening to old friends catching up, and other times it's like eavesdropping on a therapy session.